They're going to be great friends for ours, okay? So welcome to the stage. People are going to be getting to know a lot, lot better. Dr. Rock and Mrs. Marilyn Diamond. Thank you. You like my introduction? <laughs> Don't sit down, hug somebody. Don't sit down, hug somebody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that because if I could have my druthers, I would take the next however many minutes and hug all of you because I love you. I so sincerely love you. I have been searching for practically my entire life for a community like this one. Because actually, I was friendly, and I was hardworking, and I was very dedicated to helping people from day one, but I sort of never fit in. And it always felt like what I was working on and trying to give to people was something that I would have to kind of push on them, that they weren't there. And you're there. I mean, you are so, you are so totally there that it's mind boggling to be in, you know, I, I'm not even finished with the, the, the 90 day challenge. <laughs> It's amazing. I had lines across here. These were deeper grooves. I had way I had lines here. I had some spots on my face. Now, I had good skin. But Miriam doesn't care whether you have good skin, bad skin. Miriam just works. <laughs> Isn't it true? And then arriving here, now I'm, you know. He told you my age. I am not 69 years old. I am not. I am 69 years young. And I started in 1975 the soundtrack for me, a single mother going through all the issues of being one of the early single mothers when we weren't very popular. <laughs> My soundtrack was, may God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build a ladder to the sky and climb on every rung. May you stay forever young. I wanted that. I figured this is a tough job. I'm going to have to get really young, really strong. I'm going to have to feel really confident. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for health. Because if you have health, you have the greatest wealth. Because the energy, the confidence, the feeling of I'm OK inside, and I feel great, and I look all right.
right. All of that, that's something you can trade on when you're success oriented like you are. There's no ceiling on it. So I decided, okay, I'm going to get myself really healthy, so I'm going to decide about uh, what is something that nobody knows about, and I started to look at all the books, because right back then, all we knew that we, w we could do for health was go to the doctor, take a drug, or get surgery. <laughs> and if we wanted to lose weight, we had to eat hamburgers and cottage cheese or grapefruit, or something like that, <laughs> and then we would get like this after we did that for two weeks. So what I discovered was fruits and vegetables were magical, and if you ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, guess what? You cleansed your body. We didn't know the word detoxification back then, but detox anybody? You know about detox, right? That's me. I brought that to you. Actually, the fruits and vegetables were destroying the free radicals we didn't know about yet because they were the antioxidants we didn't know about yet. So it was all, all pioneering. And I took it to the nth degree, and I became a vegan. I did all of this stuff. Went way too far. <laughs> if you do not eat enough protein, which I did not eat for 18 years, no protein, you begin to waste, the very first year you do that, 1% of your muscle. The next year, 1% of your muscle. In 18 years, I'd wasted 18% of my muscle. I knew that whatever I had done was great as a detox, but don't live on a detox. <laughs> and it was time for a change. And I was worn out. I had given everything that I could give to Fit for Life. And into my life walked. First thing he said, first thing, first thing he said to me was, you need to start eating some protein. Because <laughs> I actually picked up my skirt and said, look, I have all these wrinkles. I didn't like that. He said, well, you know, protein lady. The next thing he said was, please let me love you. Aww. What we have done together is work on Forever Young. He was at it from the bodybuilding side, how to body sculpting, how to really turn an overweight body or an emaciated body into a shapely body. When you do that, guess what? You put on, you tone a muscle, you build new neurons in the brain, you're getting younger. There's a formula, and we've put it together just for this kind of audience. This is it. This is it. You are it. And I'll just say one more thing about that. I truly believe that this community is the present in this country. You are the present. You are the future of this country. You're the future of this world. We are. We are. It's astonishing. And I'm so grateful to be here. And I love you so much. And I want you to hear the reason they call him Rock, Dr. Rock, because he has so many credentials. He knows so much. He's mastered everything he ever needed to know in life. Every time he needs to know it, he masters it. But he's helped so many people. He's served and served and served whoever needed him. He became the rock in their life. This is Dr. Rock. My rock. Let's give a big hand to Marilyn Diamond. I love you. I love you. Wait, 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 wait. I said, let's give a big hand. That's, you gotta have two hands. Let's give her a Two hands. I'm near you. Yeah. That's.
the doctors told me that I had five years to live after my heart attack. It's a long story. I can't tell that story now. But I've defied the odds. And it's because of the love from one woman. Now, they told me that I have about a minute to speak. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what can I share from my heart to yours that in one minute, because remember Sean said you could sum somebody up in like 30 seconds? that You could get the essence of something so powerful that your entire life would change. Now, you've been hearing words for what, two days now? Words, good words. But I'm talking about something beyond words, something you got to feel. I'm talking to you out there. Maybe you're in the back watching a monitor. Maybe you're sitting way back there. And now I've got maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> you see, I believe there's a power that is so great. I call it the, the power of love, the power of good. That's just my word for it. Maybe it's because you have 30 billion neurons in your brain. Don't drag Deepak into this. <laughs> but maybe it's a combined magnitude of 5,000 people here, and all those neurons were something greater. But I believe the people that have the greatest health, the greatest happiness, and the greatest success in life have to make one key decision. I've got about 15 seconds, but I believe that if you make that <laughs> decision, you're going to leave this conference a changed person. Now, somebody out there is in pain. Somebody out here. And you're ready for that, to initiate that healing process. And that's what I had to do. I had to open up to something greater than myself. And when you're ready to make the decision to open up and say, you know what, I'm ready for good to come in and guide my decisions and my actions. When you make that personal commitment, suddenly you have a partner. The best partner you could ever have to bring you the success, the health, and the happiness. And you're going to be one of these people that are saying, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Everything I need comes to me. But you know what, that decision has to be made consciously each and every day. Because you're either turning toward it or you're turning away from it. It's that simple. And my question to you is, are you ready to turn toward it completely? OK. Now, in order to solidify that commitment to start your healing, to start your success, to start opening up to that greatest intelligence that's available to you, that guidance, that direction, whatever you want to call it, that's yours. It's not mine belongs to all of us. I'm going to ask you to get off your gluteus maximus. <laughs> oh, what? You said, you wanted me to use the other word. OK, get off your hips. <laughs> Stand up for a moment. And here's what we're going to do. While I believe that goodness is all around us, symbolically, I'm reaching up. I'm going to take a deep breath in because I, I want you to make a conscious decision. I want you to get as much oxygen in as you can. I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to go, yes! Yes! yes. yes. What am I saying yes to? I'm saying yes, I'm making that decision. Yes, I want that guidance. I want to be part of that flow. I want to be carried by it. And you know what's sad? We're doing the one hand thing. I want you to reach in and pull it all in to your heart, boom, yes. And I do it like this, whoa. That was so weak, it wasn't believable. It's like, you gotta go, Ooh, yes! Yeah! Now, I've got you exercising, and you didn't even know it. We're working the quads, we're working the glutes, we're working the arms. Let's give it five reps for the first day, and if every day, from this point forward, you get up and you do five of these in the mirror, and you say, yes, 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 to removing all obstacles, to going forward with guidance, you're going to own it. Let's try it. Reaching up. Yes! 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 
Yes! Yes! God bless you. And keep you forever young. <laughs>